Hey, Kinshit here with another video of this time Pokemon Go, the latest and greatest game from back in the 1990s, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. I was originally a Red fan, actually. Um, started with Bulbasaur. I know, not the most preferred Pokemon of the three, but this really brought me back and I really wanted to do a video on Pokemon Go. So here it is. Um, so I wanted to show you Pokemon Go with my partner in crime, Minty, who will join me today in racking up Pokemon, taking down gyms, and leveling them up. Well, today, it's mostly about leveling our own gyms up, so I'm on Team Valor right now. Go red. <laughs> and most of the gyms that are around in my area are mostly red. There was a few blue gems and yellow gems around here as well but they were too hard for us to take down and I felt like it's more reasonable to just put our Pokemons in our already reinforced gym. So yeah I mean along the way we caught some few Pokemons here, um, Jigglypuff, um, and a few Pokestops here and there. The place where I am is has very sparse Pokestops. Um, Nothing like the big cities where there's Pokestops every two blocks or even like three within the same block. So for us, we decided to just see where this takes us. So I've been playing Pokemon Go for a while. Um, currently the trainer level 15. No, I think 14. I'm about to get 15 though. Maybe one or two more Pokemons will do it. But as of this video, I'm... Pokemon level, trainer level 14.8, almost there to 15, heard you get a lucky egg and some uh, great balls and I think you get the hyper potion that's unlocked at this point too. So yeah, here I just caught a Jigglypuff for just for you to see. It's really not that hard, there's different types of videos out there to teach how to throw Pokeballs. Um, how to get the nice, excellent, and what's the other one? Perfect? I don't know. There's a lot of bonuses that gives you like 10, 10 more experience and 50 more experience per per throw. So here, here's me. So Minty and I decided to take down this gym, but as you can see, it's already red and we're both Valor. So the only thing that we can do is train um, at this gym with our current Pokemons right now. And at this point, I think we already took f over four different gyms. I'm gonna also speed up the battles here, so it wouldn't take forever. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna see me battling while healing them again, over and over again. Uh, but the concept of the battle is very, very interesting. And it's actually, I kind of prefer it to be honest. So how it works is, you guys probably have known by to attack you quickly tap the the Pokemon that you're fighting and it will do its normal attack. Each Pokemon also has uh, a special attack where if you fill the blue bar all the way up you can hold it. Hold your own well you hold your own Pokemon that you're using and then you'll charge it for a special attack. And depending on how much damage you do for a special attack, it'll show how much time for it to charge up um, and against Pidgeot I decided to use Jolteon over and over again just to take down this gym um, well this level the gym so that because I'm fighting the same team gym I'm able to increase the experience of the gym per battle um, instead, of, instead of using six Pokemons per fight against an enemy gym you're actually only able to use one while you're training your own gym and because of this it's a little harder to win consecutive battles as you can see i've only been able to beat pidgeots with my jolteon um, flareon is a little way out of my league for me to take two on one at the same time so that's why at about every gym battle since my cp jolteon is a little lower than the pokemon i'm fighting i get a little more experience per battle uh, about 500. Minty's right here beside me um, doing the same thing. So collectively on the same gym, we can actually 
uh, get a 500 experience times two per battle that we do. So we're pretty much a thousand. And depending on how much, what level the gym is, um, and we've raged enough prestige, the gym will level up and it'll let us slot another Pokemon into the gym. At the end of this video, we're able to slot both our Pokemons into this gym, fortify them with six or seven Pokemons in the end. I don't, I don't remember. We'll have to take a look at that. So here I am. Little Minty took the gym already. Um, we, were, we could, we actually raised it one more level, and because she slotted with Jolteon, now she's the weakest of all the four. Um, so now it's probably a good time for me to switch over. Um, to a weaker Pokemon. Anytime you battle with a higher CP Pokemon, um, like when you're fighting, you don't you don't get that much experience. About 199 to 219 experience from my past experience. So you definitely want to choose someone that's a little lower. Now for some reason I want to use a Kingler against a Jolteon. But I'm not sure if I win or not. I don't think so. Jolteon, her Jolteon is actually really, really powerful. It has a Thunderbolt special. Um, does about 50 damage and it wrecks my Kingler if it's a water type. For the most part, water type meter does a lot of damage and a lot of HP. And that is true definitely for Vaporeon that I have. Um, I've already slotted the other two Vaporeons I've had with about 1000 CP with the other two gyms. But, so I don't have them here to use. But on a regular day without any gym holdings, I would use Vaporeon and crush any Jolteons there. See, my Needle King Queen's pretty awesome. She does her little swipe thing. It's a really fast attack, and then her giant attack is Sludge, I think. It does a lot of damage. So if you fight your own ally gym, and if you lose, you don't actually die. You can All you have to do is use potions. But if you fight an enemy gym, you have to revive your Pokemon and it dies. So that's the difference between fighting an enemy gym and an enemy ally gym. So in the end, I think, when I try to gold bat here, Probably not the smartest idea, but um, I, I got my butt kicked by Little Minty's Jolteon. But in the end, I think I also slot my Jolteon in there as well. So we were able to fortify the gym with two additional defenders on the Pokemon. Uh, gym, this is our fourth gym of the night, so we were ready to call it a day, as you can see. All right, well, thanks for watching. This is just a very pre. Um, introduction to the video. I might do more videos on Pokemon Go and if you guys want Minty to actually be on the video please comment down below. And if you like the video please like and subscribe down on the bottom of this channel and to see more videos like this one. Thanks again guys. I'll see you guys later.